We're working on expected value. This one says that James will win $9 if he rolls a 5. So he's got a die here. Uh, this is a 6-sided die. Uh, again, if we don't specify that it's something else, then it's assumed that it's a 6-sided die. So James will win $9 if he can just roll a 5. If he cannot roll a 5, he will use, lose $1. Okay, so we're trying to do find out the expected value, and then we'll have to round it. But okay, so the expected value. First of all, he's going to win nine dollars if he rolls a five. So the expected value is going to be nine times the probability that he's going to roll a five. Okay, so a six-sided die, the number five appears once, one out of six times. So his probability is one sixth. So now we're going to multiply that nine times one sixth will give you the, the probability. Uh, we'll give you part of the expected value, okay, because $9 is what he'll receive if he rolls one out of the six different numbers on a die. But it also says that he's going to lose a dollar if he rolls basically anything else. So he's going to lose a dollar, meaning we're going to subtract a dollar. Minus a dollar, minus one, times the probability that he's not going to roll a five. If he's going to roll a five, it's going to be one six, so the probability otherwise, the probability that he's not going to roll a five, would be five sixths. So we're going to multiply these uh, 9 times 1 6, and then we're going to subtract 1, because he's going to lose a dollar, times 5 6, his probability of rolling any other number besides 5. Now if we simplify this a little bit further, all I did is distribute this. 9 times 1 gives me 9 6, 1 times 5, then we're just going to, it's just 5, so we just subtract those. This ends up giving me 4 6, 4 6, it does ask me to round it to the nearest thousandth, thousandth is three decimals, so that'll be 0.667. Basically though, we, we take the probability um, or the amount that he's going to win, multiply that by the probability that he's going to win that amount. Then if he's going to lose money, we're going to subtract time and multi subtract whatever it is he's going to lose. In this case, it's one dollar times the probability that he's going to lose that dollar.